Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Bringing you another fly time video this week. This week it's a really cool one for me. Um, when I was a little kid, we would always go over to the river in the summertime and go fishing for smallmouth. And uh, before we would go, we would go seining for crayfish. And if we were lucky, we would get into some helgramites and find a bunch of helgramites. And uh, helgramites were always like the key thing that you wanted for smallmouth fishing. If we were bait fishing, you know, if you had helgramites, you were guaranteed to catch a smallmouth on it. Um, now that I'm into fly tying, I like to tie all my own kind of insects. You know, I just shared a crayfish pattern with you. This week I'm going to share a helgramite pattern with you. Um, it's one that I come up with. It's actually kind of just a hodgepodge of a bunch of old patterns. And um, just threw a bunch of old patterns together that I saw in books to create my own one. The one that I want to fish, the way that I like to tie it. Um, I enjoy tying and I enjoy creating. When I sit down behind a vise and put a hook in the vise, to me it's kind of like a painter sitting down in front of a canvas, a blank canvas, and seeing what he can come up with. And that's what fly tying is for me, and I enjoy that. It lets my creative energy flow and uh, gives me a canvas to, to put my art into. And uh, this Helgramite pattern, I just love the looks of it. It was a lot of fun creating and coming up with, and fish is good too. Uh, have a lot of fun tying it. It's a little bit lengthy, so I'm going to quit talking here and uh, get into tying it here. Here you're going to see a picture of it and then the material list to tie it. Okay, here you see my Helgramite pattern in the vise. Really cool looking, not very hard to tie. For as big as it is, it's not actually that hard to tie. So let's get into tying it. We're going to start out with a Daiichi. This is a 2340 um, size 6 hook. Here you can see it in the vise here. It's 6 extra long is the length of it. You need a long hook for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this upside down, put it in the vise just out past the barb there. And I'm going to put just a little bend down on it. So I want it just not much, just barely a little bend away from the barb. Okay. So there you can see how it just barely turns up. Now I'm going to flip it the other way in the vise. I'm going to come back about a third of the way and I'm going to take and I'm going to bend the point back down, bend the eye back down. This is going to give a natural curve. If you've ever seen a Helgramite, there's nothing straight about a Helgramite. So, there I got a nice bend in my hook. Don't do it too much. You don't want to take the temper of the hook away. Um, I can bend that back down just a hair. Got a nice bend to it. I like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some .020 lead and I did one up real quick so I don't have to spend a lot of time wrapping here. And I'm going to put two layers on. So I'm going to go here to here on the first layer and then a smaller layer on top. This is the build up body. Next thing I'm going to use, this is actually 210 black thread. Um, I'm using 210 because it covers more and it's going to cover that lead up. So I can just with a lot less wraps, I can cover more surface area here and tie this into position where I want it. So I want it to stay here and tighten up those wraps. Oops. So I'm just going to wrap this all over here. And then I'm going to widen this out a little bit. Once I got that good and tight, so I know it's not going anywhere, I'm going to take two more pieces of the 0.020 lead and I'm going to put one down each side. So I'm just going to loosely wrap this on here, get it where I want it. And I want it going right down the side. I like that. I like that how that is there. And uh, you see it follows the contour. So I'm going to Put a couple more wraps on there and then I'm going to put one on the other side too. 
So this is going to just give me some width to this fly. Do the same thing on the other side. And then just wrap this in to smooth this all out. So you see here now, I got that nice and smooth. Got a little bit wider on the body. And I got a taper to it. So it's thin here, tapers up, tapers back down to the back. Now I'm just going to take and cover that all up with thread. And then we're going to add the tail. All right, for the tail, I am using the tips of some ostrich harrow. And uh, just the tiny little tips. If you have one that you have the end of the ostrich harrow, the, the points on the end, this is a great way to get rid of those little tiny fibers that you can't use. Um, here you go, here you see what I mean. If you have the end, uh, I'm pulling off the ends of this one. But if not, just pull off a couple fibers and use the ends of them. You can use something else too, I'm sure, to substitute. Maybe some pheasant tail fibers or something like that. But uh, I like the ostrich harrow there. That's what I'm using for my tail. Next piece of material I'm putting on is a piece of vinyl rib. This is brown. And I'm going to start it on right back here at the back. And then I'm just going to pull that down real tight and wrap it back to my tail. This is going to be a piece of ribbing here in the end. Next thing is some brassy copper wire. And I like to tie that down on one side. And then on the other I'll tie in a piece of black ostrich harrow. And this is the side that I pull it off of the shaft, okay? And I'm going to tie it in by that end so you see how it starts out small down here and gets bigger. I want the small end at the back as I wrap this forward. So I'm going to tie it in by the butt section. And then we're going to add some dubbing. For the dubbing, I'm using SLF pattern blends and this is Helgramite Keller. You can use Helgramite, dark brown, black, any of those colors will work fine, whatever you have. Um, this Helgramite color is black with some olive mixed in it, a real dark olive, which is nice. Uh, Helgramite that is that color, it's that really, really dark, dark olive. It's a natural looking color. So we're just going to start back there and we're going to build up the body here the abdomen of this fly. So we're just going to wrap it forward and I'm going to wrap this up to that two-thirds point where I made that bend. I want more dubbing than I usually do. Usually I say change the color of the dubbing. This fly needs to be a little bit fatter so I'm adding a little bit more dubbing than I normally would. And I'm getting that up there to that two-thirds point. Now I'm going to take my ostrich harrow and I'm going to wrap it forward and I'm going to evenly space it out here because in between those wraps is going to be that vinyl rib. Whoops, that's fine. I figured I was going to do that. My fingers are a little wet from rubbing that dubbing on so that slipped right through my hand. So just go back and do it again and wrap it forward. Like I said, nice even wraps. Wrap that up there to that head and tie it off. Now, the reason we put on that gold or copper wire, whichever one you have, is to tie that ostrich harrow into place. So I'm going to counter rib this and I'm going to try to cross it on top. Cross through the ostrich harrow on the top so I don't trap down fibers towards the bottom. So it's going to add just a little bit of extra flash in there, which I like, and secure those ostrich harrows for me. So wrap that up to the, uh, to the head there and tie it off too. And then we'll helicopter and spin that off to break it. 
Then we're going to come in with that vinyl rib. The vinyl rib has a flat side on one side and a round side on the other. You want to tie that flat side up. Sorry, I didn't say that earlier. So when you wrap it, the round side is on top. And I'm just going to wrap that in between that black hurl. And you see that gives it nice gill look effect or little tiny legs. It actually is legs, I guess, on this. And uh, wrap that forward up to the head again and tie it off. Now this is a big meaty looking fly and that's what we want. So the next thing I want to do, this actually is legs on the side. So I'm going to trim off the top. You could pull it off your vise, hit it with a lighter and that'll singe the top off if you want. It's a little bit risky. It's just as easy just to trim it off on the top. So there you see it's nice and smooth on the top and you got your legs out sticking out the side. That's what we want to see. Next thing I'm going to do is take a turkey tail. At the top of a turkey tail feather, you see it's all this black. I want to use the black on this turkey tail. And I'm going to cut a section about maybe three-eighths of an inch wide, I guess. Just a tad wider than the width of my hook with all that lead on it. And I'm going to lay it loosely on top, as you can see there, and just start to wrap it down. And wrapping it back back to where that ribbing is. Okay, you see how I got it there. Next thing we're going to do is the legs on this. For the legs, this is just an old Indian hen saddle. Uh, any hen hackle, Brahma hen will work great here. Just going to take the feather, pull back from the tips, hold on to the tip, pull the fibers back to make my legs, and I'm going to tie this head section down. I'm going to tie it down upside down and where I separated I want to be right there where my thread wraps ended so I'm just gonna wrap that down on top and now that I got that wrapped on now I need to put the pinchers on this fly a uh, Helga mite has a set of pinchers on the front for that we're gonna use goose by it so I'm just gonna hold one on each side Sticking out over that eye, using the eye to splay it out there. And then I'll do one down the other side. Okay, so there's my pinchers on here. I'm going to trim off both the butt sections. And then I'm going to wrap back towards that feather. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some more of this Helgramite dubbing. Just going to twist it on there, make a little bit looser than I did on the body, on the abdomen for this thorax. So I want a, a bigger thorax than I had an abdomen. We're just going to cover that whole thorax up. And stop right in behind those pinchers on the front. And then we're going to pull our legs over. And I'm going to pull them back now. And I'm going to pull them right in between my pinchers and I'm going to tie it down in there. So I got, I guess that length to be pretty good there when I did that. That's nice. Gonna make a couple wraps, tie that into place. Then we're gonna take our wing case, that turkey tail, and I'm gonna pull it up over. And when I pull it over, I'm gonna pinch it down with my thumb. And I'm gonna make a loose wrap or two, and then a couple tight wraps. Now we're gonna take and trim that wing case off when we're sure we have it where we want it, and get that real tight down there. We've got a straggler here so we got to get that out of the way. And then I got that my legs sticking in. Now we can hit a whip finish here and finish this fly up. So 
So I'll just put one or two quick wet finishes here and then I'm gonna hit it with some UV glue and that'll finish it up real nice. So before I do the UV glue, I wanna take a look at these legs. Make sure I have them spread out where I want them because the UV glue will lock them in place some too. So there, I like that. You can see that they're spread out both nice on both sides. We're just gonna hit some UV glue. This is medium viscosity, solar res. And just gonna put a nice thin layer on top here and make sure I get over those thread wraps so it locks those thread wraps but just cover that wing case up nice and hit the thread and then we'll hit it with my light and that is all that's to this Halgramite pattern takes a little bit of time but it's an awesome looking pattern when you're done with it Alright guys, I hope you liked that. I know I was a little bit long-winded on that one. It takes a little bit extra time to tie. Tie it in stages. The way I do it, I wrap all the lead on and uh, I do the lead section first. I'll do a whole bunch of, you see here in my hand here, I'll show you now. It's just a whole bunch of hooks with lead and, and the um, thread wrapped around it. Getting the bodies prepared, and then once I have a whole bunch of the bodies prepared, I'll tie a whole bunch of the flies. I'll finish them off. It just works a lot easier that way. Uh, you know, I'll go through bend the hooks, wrap the lead, tie it down. Um, works a lot easier for me that way when I'm tying a whole bunch of them. If you're just tying one, go for it. But uh, one thing I wanted to say that I didn't say in the video when I'm done, I pop it off the vise. I take my brush and I just take and brush out that thorax a little bit to get a little bit of bugginess to the dubbing underneath those legs. And uh, I just like the looks of it a little bit better. I forgot to say that in a video. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this fly. It's a really fun one for me to tie. I enjoy it and uh, it looks awesome. At least in my opinion, it looks awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, if you need any of the materials to tie them, you can find them at wholesingersflyshop.com. Uh, until next week, when I bring you another video, guys, please hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel and all that good stuff to help me move up in the, in the viewership there. And uh, I appreciate everything, all your comments, and all that fun stuff. It's, it's fun bringing you, these guys, you guys these videos and uh, interacting with all of you. I really enjoy it. So until next week, when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.